Yeah. So you can see that uh, everything that our worm can do is move, be drawn, and we get the head position of our worm. Uh, private, we don't have to usually care about, and we have our worm game. We can, inst oh, we can con uh, construct and destruct our worm game, we can create a screen, we can check whether the user has quit, ask for user input, and then draw everything that is relevant to our game. Now, one of the outstanding things is that our worm always has length 10 in this case. And now we have our to a tool, namely a pointer, uh, to our availability that we can change this. So the fact that we constantly have to, to have this 10 over here or this 9 over here is something that after you tr you add things to our worm game will definitely lead to errors. Uh, because you assume here that a worm is maximally of length 10. If you eat more than 10, uh, 10 pieces of food, you might get into trouble. This is something that we don't want. So therefore, we're going to use a completely different construct here for X and Y. What are we going to do? Pointers. Exactly. So we can basically say that once we have a class warm and we instantiate, we don't have an array of 10. We have an array to, uh, we have a pointer to an integer. That's what we basically say. And uh, uh, the, the um, comments here are still valid. We will store the coordinates here. Now, there are a few things that you tend to do in that case. Now, in the constructor, if you don't specify anything, then you will basically create a non-destruct worm where we won't be able to say that we can initialize an array of 10 in this case. In fact, it would be a lot better if in the constructor we basically point those very dangerous pointers uh, to the null pointer. So that's what we're going to do immediately. There we go. Oh, thank you. And once we've done that, I would say nothing else needs to be done. I mean, this length we can still say is also zero. The rest, the rest we will see later what uh, what we do with that. But that I would say is then the the easiest type of constructor. Later, if we have a worm and we construct a worm, then it will have no length, and the two uh, arrays that we actually intend to have are not there yet. That means that whatever we do with our worm, um, and we have a couple of things, we can move it, we can draw it, and we can uh, refer to the head position, we have to first check whether this is pointing to the null pointer or not, or whether we actually have a worm or not. Um, uh, for instance, for getting the head position, we need to check first if um, uh, pff, x equals the null pointer, for instance, or is not equal to null, to null pointer. Then we, rec then we know that it will point to something and that we hopefully have then created an array there. The same for if we do that for the Y position, uh, for the Y array. And this is for those two functions already kind of fixed. The same we have to do for move and draw. So we could call move, I mean, some... Silly user could just create this constructor and then start immediately with move. That would be bad. So the idea here is that we um, uh, test for coordinates to um, uh, to exist. Let's, let's uh, do it like that. And then say if, um, and then we can use for true. So we basically both have to be present. Um, so if the x, uh, let's see, no, equals null, we can do an or, right? So if either, hi, there, x equals zero or y equals zero, equal. uh, thank you. Um, what happens then? We should just return, right? And what should we return? Nothing, because it's a, a void class, right? So in that case, we just leave. If that is not the case, then we do all the rest. Uh, that would be, I think, probably the best way to avoid any errors for the move. And for the draw, we can do exactly the same. So let's just do that uh, by copying things. There we go. And in this case, we created uh, a safe fail warm class that when you construct it, it, uh, it has nothing. Um, and, or when you uh, construct it via the default constructor, 
and it, it will not create anything. Now, this is a silly war. So what we do uh, in that case, if we have a second constructor where we specify the length of that war, right? So we can say, let's do an unsigned integer because conceptually we can agree with the number, but it should be positive, uh, zero or positive. <clears throat> and if we basically give it a length, um, let's call it length or len in that case, um, then we do something completely different. And that is what I reserved for here. So basically here we say worm constructor um, with length. There we go. Um, and then, as we say, a, a constructor is basically something that returns nothing or that doesn't have a return type at all. In this case, and this is what we can do with overloading, we have multiple types of constructors that we can have. In this case, the constructor has a one parameter, namely an unsigned integer that we call length. Right? Now in this case, we uh, need to, with a new command, reserve an array of type length. And this is the nice thing that we can do now. Right? So we can basically say x is a pointer that we already have in our private part of the class, and this new um, and we basically reserve a new array. So basically we say x is uh, a new integer, but not a one integer, but an array of integers. And how big will this array of integers be? Type length. Right? And this is basically um, how we can do that for x and for y. So basically now we will have reserved 10 integers for x and 10 integers for y if we say length is 10. However, if we um, um, create a worm by this constructor with length 100, then immediately 100 will be reserved. Now, as we know, in the beginning, all those integers will be assigned to something random that was there before. So we probably have to do exactly what we've done before, and we have to initialize that. So we have to say um, from 0 all the way to length minus 1, we basically have to initialize all of those to 0. We can do that because now we've have an array of length len, and we basically um, say that all of those should be zero. <clears throat> this length we're going to use later on for growing our worm once a piece of food has been uh, created. But uh, at the beginning, I would say let's let's um, disregard that. Okay, so now we have two constructors. If we create a worm without a constructor, we basically <clears throat> have something where we can't do that much anymore. If we create a worm with a particular length, then we can uh, have immediately our worm with a certain length. Now, if we create a worm just like this, then we won't be able to change anything. So basically what we do or what we do need later on is some type of method to change the length of a worm. And as we've seen, this is not a constant. It will basically create or it will do something with the, the worms um, or it will change the worm. So in that case, we need a public member function that we can call later on to set the length of a worm. And I would say we call that set length. We can do it like this, set length, for instance. Uh, um, and that's set worms length, although that is a bit of superfluous. And in that case, we do kind of the same oops, of what we've done in the constructor. So in that case, we can just copy our constructor. We can basically say it's not a constructor that we have. It's basically a function that sets the worm's length. And it is called set length. There we go. And we have again um, an unsigned integer. Oh, that's something I forgot over there. There we go. Unsigned. Unsigned. Thank you. Yeah. No. No. Uh, it's early. Uh, okay, good. Um, and it basically will do exactly the same as our constructor and basically sets uh, and makes sure that if we construct a worm without specifying the size, we can later set the size of the worm. Okay, um, I think we have everything we need. No, we don't, because here we basically still have our nine. In this case, we need to make sure that the entire worm is being set. And in this case, 
Okay, so in this case, I need to say what this length is for. Actually, what is length? Uh, boom, boom, boom. We need a new integer here, which says what the max length is. And we need to assign that over here for our constructor and for our length as well. Because I want to have one length later on that says um, how long our worm currently is because of it ate food, or later we can do something else with that. But another thing will be uh, what the maximum length of a worm can be, uh, because we have reserved a piece of memory. In this case, we can just say that it is max, the max thing this is. Now, as we've seen today, we can also do this, right, to make sure that we uh, uh, make explicit that max length is that length. Uh, this is another thing that we could do. In this case, we can also do it for, for this over here. Actually, I, I should be I should be doing this the whole time. In fact, already already. And the same, we can do it over here. So both length will be one in the beginning, for later. We're not using this in the game yet. Um, and max length will become length, just as we supplied it. Okay. And then with our default constructor, where we don't do anything, we can say that um, this. max length equals zero as well to make sure that we have exactly this okay is this taking care of everything no we didn't have our max length here in this case so we say is max length okay minus what right Ah, oh, thank you. I need a spelling correct here. Um, and then I bet there's some other thing with drawing. Exactly, this ten should be max length again. Okay. Do I have everything for warm? I think I do. Now we need to change also warm game, because the way we say. Uh, or the way what, what we have in our worm game is we create here a worm. Um, what we could do, um, maybe you can do it like this. So in this case, we say we don't create a or we don't have, a, have as a member function worm. We create um, a, a pointer to a worm. The cool thing here is we can actually use later on this pointer to an array, for instance, if we have a multiplayer game. We might do that actually. Um, so if, if you have the multiple worms going around on the screen, you just have to um, uh, do this, and then we won't have to uh, change that much later on. So in this case, I would say we can in this case just look over here, see if our W1 is being used somewhere, so we clear the screen. So while we initialize, we have to then also in, in explicitly say that W1, which is a pointer, needs to point um, to a new war. New war. And in this case, if we do this, then we basically have a, a, a pointer to a new object of type war, and we use the default constructor. We could also say immediately of war, a worm of length 10, for instance, but we can also do it like this. We can basically say W1, as it is a pointer, we use the array, and we can then use set length of our worm. Is it like that? Let me see what I used here. Set length, exactly. And then two, how long shall we take our worm? Let's make it 20 in this case. So in this case, W1 is a pointer to a worm of length 20, and that is already something that we have. <clears throat> now this is also the uh, um, the reason why we can have a destructor here. Is our where is our destructor? Do we have a destructor default defined here? Yeah, here. So in this case, we can also delete our our worm. And since it's not an array yet, we have to just do it like this, right? So it is an actual pointer to one worm, the way we have it now. Now another thing that we need to do is everywhere we had W1 before, this was of type worm. Now it's a pointer to a type worm. So basically everywhere where we have W1 dot move C, 
we have to do this, right? Since W1 has changed into a pointer. Same over here, W1, draw. And over here, we have also W1 for the git. But other than that, normally, nothing else should be changing. Now we have everything that is uh, related to our worm's length in our worm. Everything that is related to how we define a worm to be is now here in W1 and is basically just calling the functions from worm, the member functions. I believe this is it. Did I make a mistake? Let's see. Um, do I have make green here? No. Let's remove everything to make sure that I have a fresh install. Create. Okay. Error. A stray? What is that? Max length in worm.h. I, I typed something really silly here, I think. Or 20. Oh, what is this here? Yeah, probably I probably did a, a strange key combination. Now my my uh, editor is a little bit upset about what I've done. In that case, I'll just see. Uh, nano, what have you done? Okay, but in that case, I can just say max length. There we go. I'll just add a space and delete it. Do I have it? No. There we go. Now I think Nano can deal with that. If you do... Ah, okay. Now it works. Good. Now let's see whether the whole thing works. Do we have a worm of length 20? Yes, we do. Okay. So what have we gained? We have a worm that can still eat food, which is still hard to catch. Extremely hard to catch. Sorry, I need to get this food. Ugh. Oh, come. No, I give up. Um, so we have still a worm that needs to uh, catch some food. But now, um, at, at runtime or later, not in the worm class itself, but in the worm, in the worm game, we did this now in the constructor, but we can anywhere in the worm game define the worm's length. And this will become uh, useful later. And... Um, Another thing that we can do, but for that we, we don't have that much time anymore, um, we can also define the link. Okay, let's do this one more thing. Uh, so we can, so we have already the length initialized to zero when nothing is defined. When we define the length of the worm, we initialize the length to one. Now a worm of length one is a little bit sad. I would say two is probably the better option to initialize this. Now what we are going to do is, um, we're going to increase the length of the worm each time. Um, ah, okay. In that case, we'll have to use two uh, two functions. So we say max length is one thing over here, which we also need down here when we initialize our worm. There we go. So our worm can be maximally of length 20. And that's what we say now here. Other than that, I think nothing else has changed. But we need another function that actually does uh, change the, the worm's length as well. That function is fairly, fairly simple because for that we use our length uh, variable. A bit more so we can see what is going on here. Uh -huh. So instead of saying the max length, we also have a, a variable called set the length. And that will do a lot less, actually. Um, and we don't need any anything for that because that is fairly simple, fairly simple to see what it does. Um, when we define what uh, the set length should do, it basically should just set, or actually probably even better is increase length. Or add length, it's, it's shorter, you're right. Not as length, the add length, exactly. In that case, we don't need any, any variable. I like your solution. So basically what we do then is basically say length plus plus, right? Plus, oh, come on. There. 
However, we need to check this because uh, the length will then be increased, increased, increased. What happens if we then have maximum length 20 and our length is then increased? So we need an if test, right? So if uh, uh, length is smaller than max length, then we can increase it. Do we need to do have a minus one somewhere there? Uh, so if our length is um, is if our max, max length is twenty and our length is yeah that, that will work, I would say. It should be minus one. Yeah, it will plus plus, so it will actually become equal to. Ah, ah, perfect. Yes, very good. So basically, if it's smaller than if that minus one is smaller than the max length, right? Yes. So we test if length minus one. No, wait, you're right. You can use this. Yeah. No, no, no. I think the, the, the minus one is necessary because the max length is indeed going beyond the last iteration. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Every, uh, it's nice when everybody's thinking along. And I know I know to do that as well. Good. Okay. So now we have that. Um, I think we have then everything for changing our warm game, um, because what we need to do is we basically have then not a warm of length twenty, but we have a warm of length two. Let's see if that already works. So if we have our warm, we basically have a oh, it's still length twenty. Why is that? Oh, because we have our draw exactly like that, right? We draw not um, all the way until... Uh, up, until... So when we move, we do it for the max length. In that case, we should not have the max length, but we should have the length, right? And the same for the drawing of the entire body. We should not draw it until the max length, but until the length. Good. We make, we try that again. Okay, now we have a warm of length two. Then, um, if I want to do this in the game, and we make sure that if you catch the food finally, you will increase the length of the warm, then we basically have to go to the warm games function that exactly looks for that. Um, and the warm games function that does it is the draw food. Uh, so here we have te the tests whether the food is being eaten, tests, of the food being eaten. It's horrible English, but anyway. Um, and basically, if the, the food is being eaten, we not only increase the score, but we also should increase the warm length. The warm length we increase, as we've seen, by, what was it? Add length. And then we make sure that we increase the length of the warm by one. So if we have done that, make it, and do that. We have a warm of length two. Okay, now I need to get this tricky food again to test. Okay, now I have a length three. Now I have length four. Okay, suddenly this is going really well. I'm getting experienced in this game. Good, and so on, right? So basically now we have length five and slowly our warm will be increasing in size until it's length 20 and then the warm will not be, um, will not be growing anymore. Oh, tricky. Oh, come. <laughs> there you go.